welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. We're going on with our latest Words of Wisdom series with Nuno Oliveira and horses and their riders. Today we are going to start with chapter two about breaking, starting, <laughs> the young horse. And I'm going to break it into five parts because there's a lot of information here and it's possibly the most important thing. You know, it's the foundation for the whole rest of the horse's life. And if it's well done, it makes everything else after that so much easier. Um, and on the other side, if it's not well done, it can make everything else very challenging, depending on the horse. And of course, it's something that there is no time limit to it and there should not ever be. You know, I've started young horses and, you know, each stage just goes, you know, you do the first stage, fine, 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 the horse is fine, the horse is fine with it all. And you can even go through the whole process and be on in the first day. Con <coughs> Excuse me. On the other side, it could take weeks or months and months, you know, and I really would never move on until the horse is perfectly okay with the stage before. So, like I say, no time limit on it. Really let the horse tell you what's right and when it's time to go on. Hey, Umo, you know all about that. <laughs> so, we're going to start today um, with part one of five. <laughs> So, there are small stud farms, breeders who have one or two mares, who are used to living near human beings and being petted, and so do not fear man. On the other hand, there are countries where breeding is still practiced with large herds of mares. These horses, when three years old, have never been held with a halter and some have never had a person near to pat them. In the first case, breaking in the young horse is quicker because the horse is less frightened of people. In the second case, the first part of breaking in the horse is for him... Nox! Shh! Sorry, I've got a dog disturbing me. To be calm in the stable and to get used to having people around him. Primarily, except for the halter, the horse must accept being patted all over his body and pick up his feet as if for the blacksmith. He must allow himself to be patted on his ribs, at the girth and all of his head, including the ears. He must allow you to push his head down by gentle pressure on the pole. I know that there are horses who take a long time to let you caress their ears. These horses, although taking longer, will, by the gentleness of the rider and with the help of tidbits and patience, arrive at good results. You know, that's a really relevant point. Sometimes the more difficult it is in the beginning, the, the higher results you can get in the end. So becoming irritated is not the same as being firm firmness at the precise moment and for a fleeting moment and often ruins everything. It's only when the horse is calm and is stable, allows himself to be groomed and patted all over without fear that he's ready to be taken to the riding school. So this is so important, this first stage, wherever, I mean, he's saying in the stable, but wherever you decide to do that, and you really cannot ever spend enough time going over and over that, so the horse is completely accepting with us, being all around and touching him all over. So he must be taken there with a padded cavison and a fairly long lunge rein, which must not be too heavy. The person holding the horse on the left side must try to keep a cadenced walk with his hand holding the lunge rein about 20 inches from the cavison with a loose rein to allow you to vibrate if the horse is difficult. He should have tip bits to give the horse after a few steps and a halt. So this vibrating thing is really important. You know those little signals through a loose rein. Um, Try again until the horse follows the person walking calmly. The horse must be followed by a helper holding a whip, showing it to the horse without frightening him. If the horse will not advance, and without frightening him, the horse will not advance. <laughs> 
sorry. Accustom the horse to the riding school by walking him around on both reins with halts until he's completely calm. Sorry, the bloody dogs. <laughs> Begin straight away with the horse in hand, going into the corners correctly. So carry, start as you mean to go on. Taking the centre line and the two diagonals and always staying on the inside of the horse so that he's against the wall. The helper should walk behind the horse but on an inside track. When the horse knows this lesson, you must stop him in the centre of the school and the helper with the whip should very delicately and tactfully caress all over the horse's body with the whip. So this is so important and really reading the horse's expression all through that. You know, when is it okay and when is the horse telling you it's not okay and that really again, repeat again and again and again till it's completely okay. The person holding the lunge rein should pat the horse and feed him tidbits or vibrate the lunge rein according to the horse's reaction. He should never talk to the horse, he should talk to the horse in a comforting or if necessary a stern voice but never shout. Sorry I skipped the never up there. So it's that thing about the tone of the voice you know and that you have to be very centred and calm and believing in what you're saying there. The horse can now go back to the stable, where he should be accustomed to being bridled with a snaffle. This should be done several times and rewarded with pats and tidbits. The horse should then be left bridled alone for a short time in his box. When you remove the bridle, caress a lot. For the next lesson, you bring the horse to the school with the snaffle and the cavison and repeat the same lesson as before and back in the stable, take off and put on the snaffle again several times. So it's always that thing, isn't it, about um, you get something done, but you need to repeat it again tens, hundreds, thousands of times to really confirm it, of course, depending on the horse. So we're going to stop there for today and I look forward to see you next time as we go on with the second part of that. Thank you for joining me and sorry about all the dog noise. <laughs>